Welcome back. Today we're talking about these guys behind me, the Nanolite Pavotubes 30X. As soon as I took these lights out of the box and turned them on, I knew the level of quality I was getting. Immediately from turning these lights on, you can see the quality of the light, both in CCT and HSI modes. At 10% brightness from initial startup, I was shocked at just how bright these lights were. There's a lot of power in these tubes and with power comes great color accuracy. The CCT mode allows customization from 27 up to 12,000 K with green and magenta adjustment. Average CRI is 97 and TLCI of 98. Battery life at full brightness is about an hour and a half and that obviously increases as you decrease the brightness. The build quality of these lights is amazing too. With an aluminum housing and great tactile buttons, the experience doesn't feel cheap. The small LCD display lets you know clearly what your settings are and helps you navigate around the menus. I did think I would struggle when customizing this light on the tiny screen, but the layout is concise and intuitive with even the limited number of buttons available. It took me about five seconds to figure out what each button did and how to customize the light in the way that I wanted. On the body, there are several mounting points, two on the back of each end and one on the bottom for mounting a tripod to get the lights upright, as you can see beside me. In the bag, they also include two types of adapters, one little eyelet for hanging and one more versatile mounting option. This one allows you to uh, attach it to like a tripod or you know to a, like a grip head and it allows you to mount it horizontally or at any angle. As you can see behind me, I could customize that any way I wanted. There are several effects built into the light, including storm and police car, as well as fireworks and more. The Nanlink app is okay, a little unrefined for Android, but it does the job. Can't speak for the iPhone experience. I quickly figured out how to make scenes and control with presets. And honestly, I love having some kind of remote or app to do this that doesn't require you to run around and touch all the lights, something which is great if you're a one man band. All in all, I think these are fantastic lights and I've saved some information for upcoming comparison videos. So make sure you're subscribed for that. I've noticed as well, these lights are actually pretty good as key lights, despite their rather small size. I know they're long, but they're quite thin so that you get the idea. This is great if you're taking a couple of these with you on a small shoot where equipment or space limits you from using a large soft source, such as a spot with a modifier like a dome or a lantern. When you do have space for large modifiers, however, these lights make great color kickers as you can see behind me or as light bars in the back of music videos. All right, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like the bell to stay up to date whenever I release a new video. And until the next one, see ya.